Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve a flawless face. I get asked all the time how I cover dark circles, cover blemishes, how I get such a flawless face and especially how I make it last all night. So I thought I would cover that in one video for you guys and yeah, let's just jump into it and I hope you enjoy. So I've already applied my moisturizer, I just used my usual Olay Sensitive Skin Moisturizer and I'm now going to apply some primer. This is the Benefit Professional. I'm just going to So before you apply any foundation or concealer, you want to correct the undertones in your face. Now this is probably the most important part of the whole process because sometimes when you apply foundation and concealer, the tones will kind of peep through. Like sometimes you'll see the redness underneath the foundation or your under eyes will look a little bit ashy. So it's important to correct those before you apply foundation and concealer. So because I have blue purple tones underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using a orange corrector to correct that. So the one I'm going to be using is Orange Yellow by Laura Mercier and it's just a very orange concealer. So I'm going to take that on my finger and apply that underneath my eyes. So I've also got a vein showing down here, so I'm going to take that and apply it there as well. So I know it looks a little bit scary right now, but don't worry, when we apply our foundation and concealer, it'll all be covered and you won't peep through, I promise. So I am also going to go and correct the redness on my cheeks and I'm going to take the green concealer in the Makeup Forever 5 Camouflage Cream Palette. So this one right here. I prefer using my finger for things like this because the heat in your finger emulsifies the product and helps it apply a lot more smoothly. So yeah, that's a little tip of the day. I've also got a couple of spots on my chin, so I am just going to apply some there. Just a little bit around my nose. So as I have very, very veiny eyes, I'm going to take that orange concealer and apply it to my eyelids as well. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a lot of veins showing on my eyelids, so I'm feeling the need to correct that. So I know I'm looking a little bit ridiculous right now, but I am about to fix that. I am now going to apply my foundation, and the foundation I am going to be using today is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade... N123. So I'm just going to apply some of that to a metal palette. I'm going to stipple that on using a Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. Also, you want to make sure that you stipple it on and not rub it on because if you do that, then you're pretty much just wiping away all that corrector that we just applied. And I'm just slightly going to pat over that with a beauty blender. So I didn't apply any foundation to the eye area, only because I'm going to do that with concealer and... I don't like to cake up too much product around the eye area because it makes it a little bit easier for it to crease. So we just left that area. So for concealer, I like to go a few shades lighter than my actual skin tone. So I'm pretty much just going to highlight my face and I'm going to be using two concealers. The first one I'm going to be using is the Makeup Forever Lift Concealer in the shade 3. And I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes and the usual highlight areas with the Furless ME1 brush. And you also want to make sure that you bring that up into the T-duct area because 
you kind of get like a little bit of that blueness there as well so when you don't cover that it peeps through and it makes you look a little bit more tired so we want to brighten up that area So you just want to blend that out using a beauty blender. So as you can see with that first layer of concealer, it's pretty much taken away that darkness and covered our dark circle, which is what we want. And it doesn't look ashy or anything, so... That's really what we want to go for. So I just quickly highlighted the rest of my face and blended it all out. That is the first concealer that I apply. You can leave it at this if you want. It's completely up to you. But I also like to apply a second concealer just to really cover it up and make it last a lot longer. So the second one I'm going to apply is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I like to apply more pinkier based concealers also because it helps kind of track that blueness as well. Like anything with a salmon-y orange tone will work. So I'm going to take that and apply it with my fingers or finger. And also I'm going to take the beauty blender and blend that out. So that's all the concealer done. As I have so many fine lines underneath my eyes and I smile way too much, I always get creasing. Creasing for me is inevitable, doesn't matter how little product I apply or how I apply it, it will always crease because there's just so many fine lines under there and it's whatever but to set I always set it in place when I wear this much product so I would typically use the vanilla shade from the Anastasia contour kit but I have run out of it and I just recently bought the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder in I bought shades one and two but I'm actually going to try out shade two today I haven't tried this out yet so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes so I'm just going to apply that using a Sigma F86 tapered kabuki brush. That's actually really, really nice. Wow. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but that has such a flawless finish. I really like that. That actually looks so smooth. I'm really impressed. I'll just have to see how it photographs before I can give you guys a full review and play with it a little bit more, but I really, really like the way this powder looks. Okay, so my battery died before I got to finish filming. Typically what I would do after all my product application is spray some MAC Fix Plus. This I spray because it gives the skin a little bit more hydration. It gives it a nice luminous finish. It doesn't make it look powdery or cakey or any of that stuff. And then to set the makeup, I spray some model in a bottle. This stuff is like hairspray for your face. The minute you spray it, it, your makeup will not budge. Like this is a holy grail setting spray. I wouldn't bother trying anything else because it literally holds my makeup until the next day. So those are the last steps I take. I didn't get to do that after I finished filming because like I said, my battery died. But I've had this on for about three and a half hours, so you can see it's held up pretty well without any setting spray. I think my eyes have been just driving me crazy today, so I'm really surprised that nothing has gone wrong down here. So, yeah, and that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, that would mean the world. Also, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this makeup look. I did film it as well. I'm not too sure how it turned out, but I will let you guys know. If it did turn out great, I will most likely post it after this one. So, yeah, thank you again for watching, and I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye.